My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. We break down full fight cards every single week. We give you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. Make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And this is brought to you by Earn You. Earn You is the world's first sports and esports prediction game, allowing you to earn crypto risk free. Check it out now at earnyou.com. And Odds Jam. Odds Jam has the fastest real time data integrations to spot discrepancies between different sports books and helping users place risk free bets. Check them out at oddsjam.com. First up at UFC Vegas 51, we have Alatang Haley. Taking on Kevin Kroom. Alatang Haley, 14 and 8 overall, 3 and 2 in his last five, coming off a draw with Gustavo Lopez. Kevin Kroom, 21 and 14 overall, 2, 2 and 1 in his last five, and he is riding a two fight skid. Alatang Haley's a technical striker that can work in grappling when he needs to. He took down Ryan Benoit four times and Dana Bagarai three times in those wins. What can be a problem for him at times is that he is technical and he relies on his technical striking. So somebody like Kevin Kroom, who can be a brawler at times, can come in charging in with big hooks and create problems for Alatang. I do not see him pushing a grappling game plan, but if he gets in trouble, he does have grappling as a backup plan. Kevin Kroom is a well-rounded guy with sneaky submissions and unorthodox striking. He's coming off two losses in a row, but they were both short notice. And they weren't terrible outings. He didn't look that awful in those fights. He's been with James Krause for a few camps now, and that has helped clean up some of his striking. But luckily for him, he will always have that awkward style, and it does work for him. He's an interesting fighter because if he's if he's losing the striking exchanges, he can win grappling exchanges, but he doesn't have the wrestling to manage those transitions. So if a fight is on the ground, he's a threat there. If the fight's standing, he can be a threat there as well, but he can't control where that fight goes. I think Alatang Haley here, you know, I like him. I like him. He's almost a two to one favorite, but I do think that these odds are wide. I think he'll be the more technical striker, but I mentioned he can struggle with the brawlers and that style. He can absolutely get this to the ground if he needs to, but if he does get it to the ground, he'll have to worry about Kroom's submission. So I like Alatang. I think he wins, but Kevin Kroom is a far better fighter than his record will tell you. What do you think, Jakey Boy? I do have a bet on this, but I'll cover that after you go. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I just need to get this out of the way. You see my name uh, right here, not Kevin Crew. I, I'll put. I, I put up with the Jamie Malarkey stuff. You know that's fine. I like Jamie Malarkey. Nothing against Kevin Crew. Do not say that I look like Kevin Crew because I do not look like Kevin Crew. I know it's coming. So I, if you say it, you're getting banned. I, I was actually here looking at the picture. I'm like. That actually would look like me like just before I went into rehab. No disrespect to Kevin Kroon, but I'm a good-looking dude, and uh, he's been in the face a few times. So that's that's a picture of me if I like uh, just about to go into rehab. But, uh, yeah, I, I agree with you in this fight. Kevin Kroon is better than his record shows. Uh, he is a tough guy. He is well-rounded. But, you know, Ala Tang is a guy that I wish he would go back to his wrestling because he was like the number third, I think the third-ranked wrestler in China, whatever division it was, at one point. So he was like an all-in wrestler, one of the best wrestlers in the entire country. And then he comes to the UFC and he's just trying to outstrike somebody or outstrike everyone. His record is a little deceiving, 14 and 8. He actually was 4 and 6 at one point in his career fighting on the regional scene in China. So that makes him 10 and 2 in his last 12 fights. So, uh, you know, he, he's a he's better fighter than his record shows. He is very good. He does have real power. I agree. I think that his path to victory probably is the grappling. I think that's where he can take Kevin Kroom down and control him. Um, but he's probably going to strike. This thing could get a little bit sloppy. And those are the kind of fights that Kevin Kroom loves. So if, if Kevin Kroom can avoid the big power from Alatang, he's got a really shot, really good shot. But that power is uh, is real, and there's always that grappling threat as well. So I'm going Alatang. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, and I think uh, – so I do have a bet on here. I think Kevin Kroom's a pretty durable guy, and I think Alatang – he can be dangerous, but I, I like Kevin Kroom win inside the distance decision, no action, because I think he can come in charging in, make it ugly, make it dirty, break Alatang or frustrate Alatang and potentially catch him with something, even on the ground. But I think he's durable enough to not get stopped, right? He's fought a lot of good people. He has been stopped in the past, so it's not like he's the most durable guy ever, but I think he's durable enough, especially in this matchup. Um, so I like Kevin Kroom wins inside the distance decision, no action. 
All that means is if Kevin Kroon wins by knockout, submission, whatever stoppage, you'll get paid. But if he loses a decision, you get a refund. The bet never happened. You're only going to get that at wewantpicks.com slash bets. We have five partners. Bet Online is the one partner that offers that safety net bet. You like Alatang? Do you like him at $8,800 in DraftKings? Uh, no, because he is a little bit low, low volume. Maybe if he, if I, if I was convinced he was going to use the wrestling, um, but as you mentioned, Kevin Kroom is tough, and those veterans know how to survive. They know when they're hurt. They know how to survive in certain situations. So I, I like that bet that you placed, honestly. Um, and I'll probably stay w- away from Alatang in DraftKings. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to touch Alatang either. Like I said, I, I think he wins, but you know, uh, I mentioned the odds are wide, and I'm not going to spend almost nine thousand dollars on a guy that I don't even think should be a two to one favorite. And he won his last fight. There was a point deduction for fence grabbing, but so he won that last fight. But correct. Anyway. Um, and monkey knife fight. I think it's more and more. I think these guys go at it. I think we have a decision, and I think it's more more on monkey knife fight. Do you agree? I think we've agreed on every monkey knife fight for the last six weeks. No. That's not even a joke either. It seems like we have, at Monkey Knife. We They've been hitting out. too. Obviously, at, I don't keep track of every single one, but there was a bunch where I knew I loved the line and they hit for sure. So check that out. We want picks.com slash MKF. They will immediately match, instantly match your deposit up to $100. So check that out now. It's Daily Fantasy. It's fun and it's easy.